All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are in week eight, and this week we're going to pull it together. With that being said, we do have a vocab quiz tomorrow, 1 through 10 in a lecture, Monday, 1 through 20 in a primary, Tuesday, quiz, I can ask you anyone I want, in a lecture, and of course, Wednesday, we have a test, 25 questions, focus, map, primary. Week nine is shaping up to be a pretty light one, no vocab, because I messed up, so that's pretty exciting, and the gods have selected it. Uh, week 10 is writing week. Yay. So we, uh, I'm just keeping that in the forefront of your mind. It's coming, so adjust. All right, here we go. So let's do our maps, but really charts. So for China, the big explorer is Zheng He. And he is sent out by who? Ming Dynasty. So we're going to write Ming underneath just so we can kind of keep them in order. His key voyages are going to go to India, the Middle East, and Africa. Those are his big points. Okay, now the purpose of it is to open, then trade networks with India, Arabia and to spread Chinese culture. Okay, so the impact of it, uh, not good. China decides, <laughs> decided not to continue exploring. Okay, so they're gonna be like, yeah, we're good here decided not to continue exploring. So the reason is, is because they were getting so much cultural stuff, it really was a waste of money. They were supposed to be collecting science and math and all the things to help advance them and improve them. But really, they went around and collected like cool animals like giraffes and stuff like that. So with that being said, they're going to cancel them, and it's not going to be very uh, successful. Now, what, back to China? Yeah. Yeah. How did you get a giraffe all the way to well, they used to put giraffes on trains, sweetie. So, England, we got John Cabot. No, no, it's from the family in Vermont who are called the Cabot family. Huh? No. <laughs> John Cabot, he explores North America. His goal is to find a sea route to the east going from Europe. Going west, I'm sorry. Going west from Europe. Okay? So he thought he could cut through uh, the Northeast Passage. That's what he was looking through. He thought uh, Canada would let him cut through to the Pacific. No, it was always like this folklore kind of thing. It, nothing has worked out. However, the nice thing is with climate change, uh, the Arctic Ocean is thawing, and now there is an actual Northeast Passage, Northwest Passage. So there you go. Impact. He claims land in Canada. For Britain. What area are you in? The parts that speak English. So and well. creates a faster route to North America. Okay, so that's his big thing. All right, Portugal. Vasco da Gama is their big one. He is going to stop on the west coast of Africa. And in India. Okay, the purpose is to open a sea route 
from Europe. to India and China. All right, so impact, Portugal expanded trade and culture, trade and cultural exchange between India and Europe. Spain, we have Christopher Columbus. You right up there, Matt? What's wrong? Sorry, darling. Caribbean and Central America. And his goal was to find a sea route To India and China going west from Europe. How do you do? Not good. Not good. Okay, Spain led the exploration and colonization in America. And Spain, we got Ferdinand Magellan. <coughs> He's doing South America and the Philippines. The purpose was to demonstrate that Europeans could reach Asia sailing west. All right, so impact Spain links Americas, Asia and Europe. All right. So those are your major explorers. Isn't that exciting? Yes. I think it's cool. All right. So soon as we have Christopher Columbus. So the Columbian Exchange is when Christopher, the, Christopher Columbus discovers the Americas and once the Colombian Exchange, named after, look at you, uh, opens the East and Western Hemispheres, they start interacting. Who benefits? Yeah. Eurasia, okay? Uh, they're the ones who are going to benefit. Who's going to suffer? America. Yes, they're gonna wipe out uh, an estimated 120 million people. Now, some of that is uh, because diseases that the American, uh, that the Europeans are going to bring, they're going to come in contact with the natives, and the natives have their own tribal connections as well as trade connections. So even before the white people start touching the continent, uh, Indians or natives are dying off from all of these diseases. So when the land looks wide open and empty, when the white people get there, as if God has cleared it for them, which is what they believed, it was actually because the diseases of the first white people have killed so many of the natives. Yeah, it's the largest genocide in history, but the problem is we don't have the starting numbers. So we know it's the largest. We know millions upon millions upon millions of people have died. We just don't know the exact, so people just ignore it. <laughs> what do you got? So were the Aztecs and Indians like dark skin? Yeah, okay. they look like Mexicans. From Mexico. Well, yeah. Like, where did your like original people come from? Because I know they went like through the Yeah, uh, but 
So Bill Nye has gone viral for, I don't know if you saw this this morning, I saw this morning, he has done a race video of why people from different areas of the world have certain skin color. I will post it. Oh, it was fascinating. I know yeah, it's, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. And that's why. Not Mel Melvin. Melvin. Why, whatever. Mel Melvin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Same thing. Here we go. So types of exchanges. So we have crops that are being shared. This is going from the eastern to the western. So eastern is what, ladies and gentlemen? Europe. Asia, Africa, to Western, which is America. So make sure you understand that. So sugar is going over, wheat is going over, barley, okra, it's coming from Africa, rice is coming from Asia, oranges, could you imagine uh, Florida without them? Grapes are coming from Europe. Lettuce, I think we could all do without that. And okra. okra. Well, we're on crops. What's the law of grapes? Lettuce. Okay, effects. Abby, Abby, internal. Thank you. So, the effects on the Western Hemisphere is deforestation to make way. For sugar, wheat, barley, okra, rice, and other crops. And then we have soil uh, depletion from growing the same crops repeatedly. Okay, animals that are moving. Okay, so we have horses, because there are no horses indigenous to uh, the Americas. Even the American Mustang are Spanish horses that ran away and that have been living wild and free, mating and, breed and creating their own breed. So there's no indigenous horses. Can you imagine, like, when you think of Native Americans, don't you think of them, like, riding horses and stuff like that? and killing like um, the buffaloes and stuff like that, all of that is created by the Spanish, without the Spanish arrival. So there are both pros and huge cons. cons. So they get horses, they get oxen. Remember, there's no beast of burden in the Americas, so everything had to be done pre-Spanish uh, by hand. Pigs, can you imagine Mexican food without pork? Beef. Okay, uh, sheep, goats. Yes. No, they have other things. They just don't have these. Mosquitoes. Rats. There's no mosquitoes here. Why did the Spanish have to bring that over? Huh? I don't know specifically about how we know they didn't have mosquitoes, but we know somehow. Google it. I'm sure someone will tell you why. Chicken, can you imagine your tacos without chicken? Yeah. My tacos this Tuesday had chicken on them and they were delicious. So I'm not a beef taco girl. What do you got, uh, Ben? How do they get mosquitoes over? Uh, on the boats, they're eating the animals, flesh and all that stuff and biting the animals and they ride on over. Yeah. Well, there's no one, there's no natural enemy. Hmm? Spiders? No, spiders don't really kill them. Okay. Because of overgrazing. And then spread of diseases from mosquitoes. Rats and livestock. It's pretty fascinating. Could you imagine how different the world would be? Keep in mind, one of the items that are moving to the Americas is uh, potatoes. Imagine a world without potatoes or peanuts in Europe. People. 
Okay. So all of a sudden we're introducing Europeans and Africans. And what are the African contexts? Slaves. Slaves, of course. So for the f one thing that they say is we're now creating racial diversity. So that's okay. We have chattel slavery, which is absolutely horrific. Uh, which is what you're thinking. When you think of slavery, you're thinking of chattel slavery. There's different types of slavery, but uh, chattel is what you think of as American slavery. And then we have social structures based on race. You mean stay in Asia? <laughs> uh, yeah, because remember, China uh, figured out that, you know, exploring really isn't for them and everyone's coming to them. So why should they have to go anywhere? Same thing with the Italians. The Italians really don't go anywhere and explore anywhere because everyone's going to them still. So they don't need to explore. All right, diseases. Smallpox. Measles. Typhus. Bubonic plague. Yep. And influenza, we bring the flu. They didn't have the flu. <laughs> yeah. Huh? No, Spanish flu isn't coming until uh, World War One. Okay, so spread of disease. Millions of deaths. Among natives because they've never been exposed to these diseases before and they just get wiped out. All right, and then we have technology and ideas. Hmm? Among natives. They get alphabetic writing. So they get a writing structure for the first time. Remember that was our problem with the Aztecs, our only writing sources were from the Spanish and they also get firearms, okay? So, it is going to improve communication and a new methods for hunting and warfare. Okay, so Western to Eastern. So, from the Americas, Americas to Eurasia, Afro-Eurasia, it's going Afro-Eurasia, Afro, Africa. Okay, so your crops that are going Afro-Eurasia, they are getting for the first time potatoes. Could you imagine a life without potatoes? It'd be sad. Maize, manioc, which is a huge staple in Africa still to this day, tobacco, Okay, can you imagine the French without cigarettes? I can't. Cacao, which is? Chocolate. <coughs> Chocolate and of course peanuts. Okay, so those are all the items that are going back to. So it is going to provide better nutrition. It's going to increase the population. And it's gonna create greater wealth. So animals that Europe, Afro, Eurasia are going to get, they're going to get turkeys for the first time. They're going to get llamas. Ooh. Alpacas. Ooh. And the guinea pig. No, that's just South, Afri uh, South Americans. Okay, with the animals, they're going to have a more diverse diet. Ask a neighbor. New types of textiles is the big thing. They're going to use a lot of this stuff for new, the alpacas and llamas they use. So, the only disease that is going from the Americas to Afro-Eurasia is syphilis. And what is syphilis? Yeah, it's a really nasty STD. Uh, it is one that causes black splotches on your skin 
and it causes you to go crazy. Yeah. <clears throat> it is such a problem in Europe that um, in AP art history, you study a bunch of pieces where people have syphilis marks on them. And uh, throughout history, now that we have the Columbian Exchange open, we're gonna talk about many kings who we believe have a terrible case of syphilis and are going to go crazy for it. Your stupid show. Oh, you, which guy? Um, the father of. Uh, yeah, they said that. <coughs> he has it, and we know that for a fact. Well, he deserves it. He's not very nice. Rain. Oh, I watched that show. Such a good show. Wait. Such a good show. The Mary's husband. No. No. How about that syphilis too, though? The dad. They both did. Henry. Yeah. He deserved it. <coughs> so annoying. Tried to marry her. Engaged to his son. So weird. Yeah. It's really not worth asking any questions about. It's really not. People! Uh, Native Americans? Yes, they do. And put them on display. Yeah, they literally brought Pocahontas back and I killed her. I'm related. No, you're not. Ask my mom. We didn't. I don't even want to go it is too much. It is too much. Technology and ideas, ladies and gentlemen, in the Americas, they have rubber and they have quinin. Now, my husband is a big fan of this because it is what is in tonic water that makes it taste metallic. Why not? Huh? He well, he likes gin and tonic. When you pour it with gin, it's delicious and very refreshing. Uh, but yeah. So, rubber was first used as an eraser. Quinine provided treatment for malaria. And my, every time my husband drinks a gin and tonic, he calls it a medicine. He's just drinking his medicine. It's fine. He doesn't have a problem. How much time do I have? Six minutes. <coughs> but we could get started. No, I gotta, I gotta hear this. I gotta hear this. Victoria, what do you need, girl? Oh, um, way back. On the first page, the last one. To the brother of the cousin of Pokemon's son. Therefore, I am. Wouldn't the brother of a cousin still be the cousin? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cousin was related to the son of Pokemonix. But it's like way So, so, so I'm not allowed to start? No. It's halfway, so I have to be 